Okay, so this video is for people who want to use the Motu M4's loopback with their DAW and connect it to their streaming app, like Discord or Zoom or anything else that streams. And I'm just going to show Discord because it's probably the easiest for you to see right now. In Cubase, the trick is to set up... Go to audio connections or press F4. Let's close this. And you have your audio connections here. Set up control room. If you're not using control room, you're crazy. You can do everything through it, and it makes it so much easy to work with all of your audio inputs. So in control room, you set up your monitors first. That would be your speakers. Set up the audio device. For me, it's the Motu M series. You set it up, you put the outputs that are your monitors, which for me is one and two. You set your headphones up as another one, so they have separate outs, three and four. Works for me. Uh, I have a reference queue as well, it's a queue. And then to do your loopback, you have to have loopback and loopback mix both set up as buses, okay, or as channels. You add the channel and it's an external input. Once you add the external loopback and loopback mix, which is what I named them, and set the device ports to one and one and two and loopback mix one and two, then here in control room, you can set your external to either loopback or loopback mix. And once you've done that, you can set up, you know, an audio input channel. Like for me, I've set up my headset mic, which just happens to go into the XLR of my Mo2 and just make sure you have monitor set on so that you can hear yourself talking whether you're on it or whether you're on um, a synth. Now the second part of this is you want to go into Discord under voice and video the settings and I just ran into all kinds of problems with uh, with this working. Set it to loop back, because if you have loop back mix working anyway, your voice is going to go through it. Mix just means it'll take your inputs as well as your outputs. Loop back um, just does your, your outputs and not the inputs from the mics. The other settings for this, I have automatic input sensitivity turned off and just have it set to a nice low level so that your voice can go through as well as your synths. And then you go down here and you need to turn all of these off. Noise suppression, off. It interferes. I've experimented with all of these and I know which ones work and what don't. Echo cancellation, off. Noise reduction, off. Automatic gain control, off. Everything else uh, doesn't make any difference or it's irrelevant to causing this not to work. Set your audio subsystem to standard. Use an experimental audio cut that turns off. Everything else is exactly as you see in this video here. If you do that, it should work for you. Your loopback mix and your loopback should work. And then you just get out of that and you're back into Discord, which for privacy reasons, I'm just going to leave it like that. And that should be all you need to do to make this work.